Yo, how's it going guys? Jolt the Catalyst here. Today we're going to be going over how to do the windmill to swipe. So let's get to it. In order to achieve the combo, you'll need to be able to do both the windmill and the swipe separately. Please look at these tutorials for additional help before trying this move by clicking here. I highly recommend that you perfect these moves individually before trying to combo them since putting them together is normally harder. It's easiest to perform this transition if you get a little momentum beforehand. This can be done by using the power rock and the bowl effect technique. Keep in mind that I'm rotating counterclockwise, so please do the opposite if you're a clockwise power mover. As you collapse your arms and begin to turn into your windmill, be sure to avoid stabbing the abdomen since that will reduce speed, which is counterproductive. Since this is a simple transition that doesn't last very long, it's not imperative that you keep your head on the ground. I find it easiest to simply roll across the shoulder blades. As you roll from shoulder to shoulder, prepare to push off of the ground by turning your hand. The back of the hand should be facing the body. Also be sure to create lifting momentum by snapping out of a hip kip. Both the jackknife and the flipping over of the hand should happen simultaneously. Once your lower body is thrusted airborne and your body shape resembles something like a one-handed bridge, when you've found your balance point in this position, activate the thigh, calf, and butt cheek of your left leg by pushing against the ground so your body launches into the air. Swing the right arm across the chest so that it can catch the weight of your body. Take note that the back should be arched in the bridge position as you would do in a regular swipe. To complete the swipe, swing the left hand across the chest and just let the lower body unwind so that it can catch up to the upper body. It's most helpful for me to think about ending in a handstand. To go back into a windmill, simply ride the momentum to smoothly transition from handstand to windmill. It may be helpful to turn your head to look at the right hand as you do this. Again, don't worry about stabbing your abdomen with your elbow. Lastly, be sure to flex the core so that your lower body rotates properly. A lazy swipe can result in a break of form and a reduction in speed. So that's our tutorial for the day. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, and if you're also looking for some power inspiration, check out my boy Tony. He's got a lot of fun videos for you to watch, so definitely check him out. And uh, thanks again for tuning in to Jolt TV, and I'll see you next time.